All right, this is a great little heater. It's only about, I don't know, nine or 10 inches tall. Um, it's great, it works perfect. If you just want the fan to just blow cold air or cool air, you can turn the fan on. It does have a tipping mechanism to where if it tips, it turns off, which I like. Um, it's relatively quiet, it's not too bad. It's got a little fan in the back. It actually blows pretty well. It blows nice cool air. If you want it warm, you turn it on to number one. Oh, sorry, I keep tipping it, which is low. I don't know what that is, 600 watts. Then you have nine. It gets pretty hot. Like last night, I had it on number two. Um, and already, okay, so it's only been 52 seconds. It's already hot. And if you put your hand like right in front, it's almost too hot to put your hand there. It warms up very quickly. It's been a minute now and it's actually pretty hot. Works super, super good. I have a, I don't know what size my room is, 13 by 13. Heats up the room pretty quickly. Again, it's great. If you accidentally tip it, it turns off. Love it. Let it turn right back on. Anyway, recommend it. It's a great little heater um, for the price and for the size. So far, so good. I've got it on max. You can turn it down. I bought this a couple days ago. I want to say it's been a week now. And this little thing packs a mighty punch, okay? It works well for what it was made to do. However, <laughs> I'm a little upset right now because it hasn't even been that long that I've had it. And it's already starting to show signs of it's not working, okay? And it's freaking cold up in here so if the person if the seller can please explain to me why this thing keeps turning off by itself now from my understanding because it's not like i didn't read it has a safety feature okay in case it overheats and also if it tips over i get it but i have not had it on enough to where it should be overheating okay nor high enough to where it should be overheating so why does it keep turning off by itself now, let me just show you, it is plugged in. Don't come from my carpet. Don't come from my carpet. I am a freelance makeup artist. Do not come from my carpet. It is plugged in, okay? You see it, right? Let's see, because I did this twice before, because I tried to upload this freaking video twice now, and it did not turn on. Let's see if it turns on now. So basically, I'm going to go, okay, so that's turning on now. Now it's turning on. But I promise you that it wasn't turning off or turning on before. Here's the cute little heater. Um, it works really well. Um, very very nice and hot. Um, don't touch that like I just did because that actually burns. <laughs> um, and when you lift it up, obviously you can see that it says power. Obviously everything's on, but if you lift it up, the power light shuts off because of the little uh, sensor in the bottom. So cool. Um, you got the Max and the Men, obviously on both sides, works really well, and like, it does pretty good for this big ass room, so, big room, it does really, really well, um, for such a small thing in this big room, um, though it doesn't make it obviously hot in here, um, it does make it at least warm in here. This is a great little product. I have it in my RV. And actually, I'm going to have to turn it down a little bit now that it's not snowing because it is 70 degrees in here. It doesn't need to be that warm. I would definitely recommend this. I have three of them. One here in my RV, one in my bedroom. Okay, I'm going to review the heater I bought from Amazon. It's so nice and produces so much heat. This is a 1500 watt electric heater and when it tilts it shuts off automatically which is super nice. And it has different settings and it really does get super super hot which I absolutely love. And it's minimal volume so it's not very loud. I have it underneath my desk. Um, you can just have the fan going if you want with no heat really. Um, I usually just have it about halfway 
and I usually keep it one to two. Nice little heater. I just barely plugged it in. It's already pretty warm. Safe. It's like not going to start a fire or anything. Good size. Fits on my nightstand. Has some controls. Different settings. So the only way it works now is if I hold this switch down. It's not even a little pressure as you can see, just pushing onto the fingers isn't enough either.